Hi everyone, it's Johnny Seed here again, and today we're going to have a look at this box set of Dungeons and Dragons miniatures from Grenadier Models. Uh, this particular one is the Wizard's Room uh, 2009, as you can see there, that was just the uh, catalogue number, not a year. Uh, I think this was from the early 80s, 81, 82. And before you get excited about the uh, quality and the condition of this box, uh, it's not an original. Uh, the contents are original, um, but this box you're looking at now is a reproduction. Uh, it's to the exact same specifications. It's just a scan of the original box that's been blown up and tinkered around with on Photoshop. And yeah, the box has been recreated because our original box got destroyed years ago. This is again is a reproduction of the original inner. I managed to find a scan which we can have a look at in a moment in a bit more detail. So as you can see you've got a wizard seated chanting, a shelf unit with tomes, scrolls and artifacts, a work desk with components, a reptilian familiar, a brazier, treasure urns, a thermaturgic circle and a cauldron with conjured face. Desk required assembly. I think you just have to glue the top to the bottom. Yeah, so this uh, particular set was re released a few years later when the Grenadier lost the rights to call their stuff official Dungeons and Dragons, and it was reproduced as the Dragon Lord series uh, Wizard's Chamber. And pretty much exactly the same, except the Reptilian Familiar is a different model, and in this one you get two lots of treasure urns. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual contents. The, uh, like I said, these are original figures. Okay, first up, the Thermaturgic Circle, aka the Wizard's Ring, not to be confused with the Wizard's Sleeve. Oh, and here we have the Brazier, or the Barbecue as we used to call it. give you an idea of the scale if you've uh, never played with lead Dungeons and Dragons figures before. These things are quite tiny. Yeah, we might still get into focus. Yeah, some treasure urns, or the bongos as we used to call them. I guess they're more like congos than bongos. Next up the desk, uh, we have a couple of scrolls, an uh, inkwell, uh, some sort of talisman, I think that's a skull with a candle wax dripping all over it. But yeah, if you can see here the detail on the wood is quite uh, quite amazing isn't it? Look at the, uh, you can actually see the grain. And the Reptilian Familiar, the first version of it anyway. Could also be used as a baby dragon, but it doesn't have wings. And the bookcase. Again, quite a lot of detail on here. You can see the stacked up books and scrolls. And on top what we used to call the hi-fi unit, <laughs> the stereo. Looks like some sort of receiver, doesn't it? <laughs> and on the end we have what looks like a horn and a shield. And 
here we have the man himself, the wizard seated chanting with his crystal bolts. Now the design of this wizard's head and uh, the upper part of his body anyway is exactly the same as the wizard figure that you got. Um, we see a comparison. Yeah, he's, uh, hasn't popped his collar on the seated version but the face is almost exactly the same. And the arm, I guess it's been taken from the same mould. Okay, and this is uh, my favourite piece of this set, one of my favourite designs of all Grenadier miniatures. I think this is the, the head emerging from the cauldron. <laughs> I utilise this quite often in the games. Fantastic design. Really well balanced as well. And this is the full set, all laid out. Here we have some of the original concept art, uh, signed by Andrew Chernak, who is the founder of Grenadier, um, the chief sculptor, and Ray Rubin, who is the head artist. Okay, that was a look at my Wizard's Room, original Grenadier models, Dungeons and Dragons figures. Thank you very much for watching.